Coming up on today's nightly news. Iconic birds at risk from EU farm cuts. Plans for EU budget without Britain, a slap in the face. Conclusion on the Food Assistance Convention on behalf of the EU. And part two of our series, Brave New Europe. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. Iconic birds at risk from EU farm cuts. Some of Britain's best loved birds faced a catastrophic threat under EU plans to slash wildlife friendly farm subsidies. With Brussels seeking to impose swinging cuts on vital countryside schemes that help farmers provide a lifeline for birds such as the linnet, skylark and turtle dove, their future looks increasingly bleak. EU President Herman von Rompuy wants a 10% cut in environmental subsidies. Plans for EU budget without Britain, a slap in the face? Possible plans for a long-term European budget without Britain have been branded a slap in the face by UK MEPs. In a move that will be seen as increasing British isolationism in the EU, an alternative budget is reportedly being considered in Brussels ahead of this week's crunch summit of EU leaders and heads of state. Now we reported on this topic three times last week and in each case mainstream media took the hardline stance that the UK wasn't playing. Now Brussels MEPs want to play with themselves and our press says it's a slap in the face. <sighs> Typical sleight of hand reporting by the press. Conclusion of the Food Assistance Convention This report by Nerj Diva was written for and adopted by the Committee on Development. The report states that food insecurity is a global issue which despite much effort remains an ongoing issue. In 2010 an estimated 13.6% of the world's population did not have enough to eat. Despite decreases in income poverty in several regions, malnutrition is still an underlying cause of more than a third of child deaths estimated at 2.6 million a year and can often leave survivors with stunted growth and diminished cognitive development. The number of people affected by natural disasters is also on the rise. The European Parliament is of the opinion that the FAC 2012 will allow the EU to ensure that the most effective and efficient food assistance policy is put in place that responds to the food and nutritional needs of the most vulnerable populations. The Food Assistance Convention. I love it. <laughs> this reminds me of Oliver Twist. Here are EU parliamentarians, aka Mr Bumble, gorging themselves whilst discussing to whom they might provide more gruel. Brave New Europe. Welcome back to part two of this seven part series. The European Union Project. The following outlines the operating structure and protocols existing or proposed of the EU. The EU, called the European Economic Community, was initiated by a Frenchman called Jean Monnet, based on a concept that started in the 1920s. Monet was considered to be the father of the European Union. His counsel now concerning how the EU should be achieved can best be summed up by simply quoting him. In 1943, Monet stated that after the war, there will be no peace in Europe if the states are reconstructed on the basis of national sovereignty. In 1952, Monet stated in a speech at the UN, the nations of Europe should be guided towards a supranational state without their people understanding what is happening. This can be achieved by successive steps, each disguised as having an economic purpose but which will eventually and irreversibly lead to a federation. This is what is known as the salami technique. 
That is, where the EU systematically removes thin slices so that each missing slice is unnoticed by the public at the time until they have acquired the lot. There were two other main original architects. Paul Henry Spack, who advised John Monet that the only way to achieve the goal of a politically integrated Europe is to pretend that it was to be only a common market. And Altiero Spinelli, who advocated that the aim should be to stealthily assemble the components of a supranational government and only to declare its true purpose at the end of the process by unveiling a constitution. So, what is the European Union project and its agenda? The main aim of the project is to eliminate the desires of European sovereign states to compete with each other for control of Europe, which has resulted in two world wars and the dividing of Europe into two opposite political spheres from 1945 onwards. To this end, the European Union will replace the separate sovereign states of Europe with a single European state and to supersede any existing notion of personal loyalty to country and heritage. That will result in the people of England not being called English. You will be called a European. The country called England will no longer exist. It will become several regional parts of the greater Europe. Well, uh, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news and stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our uh, Twitter username is the e Unit, And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.